Welcome back guys. We're here with the Blue Beast today. Um, this is its first video. We're going to do a little install video for you guys today. We're going to be installing a pretty cool rear diffuser. Here we are. Link will be in the description of where you can buy this. Um, Fury Motorsports. The one thing, it's pretty cool, it's pretty light, it's aluminium, but there's no instructions. So. We're going to show you guys how to install this. We're going to find it out and then show you. So if you buy one, you'll know what to do. So this is everything it comes with. You get your main rear diffuser piece. You get two side pieces from what it looks like. You get a mounting piece. There's already two holes in it. With It looks like that fits there, but there's nothing up top, so we'll see that. You get a fancy uh, sticker from Airflow Dynamics and a hardware bag. So we're gonna jack the car up, put it on some jack stands, and see if we can mount this. All right, the car's up on jack stands. Let's go take a peek underneath, kind of see what we're dealing with. So my guess right now is those two uh, holes with the brackets are probably gonna go to these guys here. And then we're probably going to have to drill into our tire well, is from the looks of it. These do not like to come out very easy. Sometimes you can screw them off, sometimes you have to use some pliers. But that is what is looking like my guess. Also, while we're under here, we've got KW V3 coilovers, Eibach rear sway bar, skid plate, Cobb exhaust. That's the back end. Oh, and M Sport mud flaps from my car. So what I've gathered is this goes in this direction. And then um, we're going to have to drill for the back hole, and then we're going to have to drill into this piece as well. So I'm going to briefly mock it up right now. When I do this, I'm actually going to have the bolts facing the other way. but. That way I can mark, put a little um, paint, touch up paint on the bottom of the mounting point inside. So that way when this touches, it'll mark where I need to drill. So it's gonna be something like this. I gotta figure out where this is gonna mount. Um, this is threaded. And then when I put it in for real, these bolts will be facing up like this is. That way they're not sticking down and out in the way of airflow. So we're gonna, see how this goes oh, yeah. so I have not yet put paint on these little nipples here I don't know if you could see that on those guys yet I'm just kind of doing a brief because I see where all this recessness is and I'm thinking it's gonna go where it's deeper so I think it's something like that which I mean there's a little gap between this skid plate in here so it actually might be pretty neat to mate it up somehow if that's possible although I can't tell right now how far that sticks out if that were the case I'm just thinking airflow design but um huh okay I put the bracket on the other side upside down so it's got to be facing the other way this needs to be facing the other way direction. Again this side if it gets a little scratched up I'm not really gonna care because you're not gonna see it. And there's one. Although Ted might care. It's extremely windy so sorry about the noise. Something's not adding up. I might have to call Ted out here to be my eyes to see how straight this is. There we go. <laughs> All right, so we are marking our first hole. If I can get the marker in there. And we decided we're going to go all the way up to the skid plate. All right, cool. I got the marker. So that's our first hole. We'll get the drill in there, and then we'll get the other two more or less where they're at. We've got our mark right here. We've got our drill, our safety goggles, and our gloves on. Although these aren't the correct gloves, but. 
and we're gonna drill. There's one hole, that's our pilot hole. So let's get our bigger drill bit. And I have no issue drilling into Ted's car because I've already put a roll cage and put m numerous holes in his car already. <laughs> Isn't that right, Ted? Could be accurate. You might be, yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> He's somewhere over there. At least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Somewhere around ten. Perfect. All right, so that's our first hole. We're going to figure out where we're going to put our second holes and uh, go from there. Through. You can sort of secure it up there. Doesn't have to be the tightest at all, just as long as it's on it. Cool. All right, so now that's holding there. We're gonna put this guy. Oh, this is way harder. <laughs> So that's roughly where it's going to go and the angle of it. Um, I've got a mark, which now I've misplaced my marker. But yeah, something like that. I'll check shirt first too to make sure it's straight on the back before coming back in and uh, did is I put a dot here so I can know I can go anywhere along this line I put a dot here so I know I can go anywhere along this line to drill a hole for this guy once I do that I'll mark this from up above going through the tunnel where I want the hole on this so that's how I'm going to do it on that to make this work. you can see now we've got one here and we've got our two holes there so when we line it up from up above we can mark it through the wheel well and uh, that will be how we mount this now marked our two spots you could technically do three if you wanted actually two so I'm gonna drill this Don't 
want to go through the other side. <laughs> After mocking up, we want to remove this to mount it first. And always get some help from the kids too. <laughs> That's my reference for kids. Push up the uh, B. Yeah, there you go. Alright, we're good. Okay, another one. Ready? We're gonna put on the rear one first. And then our two fronts. Alright. I'll worry about tightening that one up last. So now, we're gonna get that through a hole. One. Hmm? Little mount's pretty, pretty crazy here. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. Yes. Alright, now before I tighten that one, let's get the other side. Wait, now I'm loosening. It had to cause tightening. Shank. <laughs> oh, sorry. No, you're good. Where is the wrench? Woo. So that's that main setup. We still have the Velocitex on the side right now. Um, we'll see about that. But we got to go through the rattle test and see how this goes. And if it all checks out, we will be good to go. I do like how it angles up right here for that extra velocity. And I like too that we didn't have it obnoxiously stick out either. I think you were right though. I think the third mounting point over here would have helped it. A little bit? Yeah, I do think so. That would stop this. I think I could still possibly get that in with it in without taking it off. With it in? Yeah. Because I don't know what's tapped in here. So, we're going to drill some holes. It's right there. So with these side ones, you've got two holes here. You want this piece pointed down. And it's going to be going something like this, where it's flush there. It'll actually be holding the mud flap in place. But let me show you underneath where we're going to put our self-tapping screws. Piece of plastic, piece of plastic, two little holes line pretty dang good up to that so that's what we're going to be mounting that for both sides and uh we'll do that so when i do this it allows you to see 
where the screws are going to go. Didn't quite go. There we go, now that one's going in. There we go, that's much better. And that is much closer to that, like I wanted. All right, that's one side, let's do the next. All right, there we go. And we've got those all on. Um, I don't know if we're going to keep these on or not. But anyways, that is how you install that diffuser. We still have some adhesive to take off as well. Whew, that was something else. No direction. So I hope you guys were able to enjoy that. We're able to follow along. And I hope this solves any problems if uh, that you may encounter on the installation. Um, Definitely makes it look a little wider on the bottom. It's kind of a full plate. But uh, yeah, do it yourself. Install. Done. Boom.